Hey everybody, Techie101 here. I'm in the studio right now. If you hear any background noise, that's because we're in the middle of having a massive ice storm right now. So that would just be like the, you know, quarter inch chunks of hail smacking against my house. No big deal. No cause for alarm. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is the time of year where I clean everything up in here. I don't know if you know this, but uh, I don't think you would because the only scenes you usually see of the studio are of the main backdrop. And I think like the door whenever like some like, oh no, robot checking comes in time for a fight, you know. Um, but uh, aside from that, you really don't get to see the rest of the studio, but usually it's pretty messy in here because whenever I, you know, you see me in my videos and I like throw stuff around or have like random papers, you know, I don't clean that shit up usually. So like that, uh, that letter from Santa Claus, you know, to, to continue uh, like all, like all the different bleach stuff I wanted Santa to bring me. Yeah, that was lying around here. Uh, the banana, the, the nerds box that was all around here. Um, I think a couple of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards back when um, Neon Zulweisel was introduced, I was like, he's not the wind, he's the wind and I like threw around a bunch of my wind up Yu-Gi-Oh cards yeah those were in here um but yeah so I cleaned it all up looks really good in here right for 2015 but another thing I always do is I uh this time of year anyway is I change the design of the backdrop because it's time for a change we've been staring at the same thing for the past year I thought it's time to print out some new images and uh see what we got here so I'm looking at it right now and I'm pretty excited I'm pretty excited you ready to see this I bet you I'll give you a second to prepare yourself give you a second here what are you doing? Duchess! She's being kooky. Okay, you ready? All right, you good? All right, here we go. Y you sure? We don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, you sure? Okay, here we go. Bum, 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 boom. Yeah, I gotta get a back up here a little bit, get a full scope of what's going on here. So yeah, there we go. This is the new backdrop for 2015. I'm excited. Uh, you may notice there's a few, uh, aside from just the different pictures, I added some extra stuff here. So uh, let's go in handheld and I'll show you all the stuff I added. All right, let's just go picture by picture here. All right, so the first one up here is uh, by a deviant artist known as Grivet. He actually did three of these drawings. Uh, it is Rukia in her new Bankai, or I guess her just her normal Bankai. It's not really new. Uh, Haka no Togame, uh, where we have her standing there looking pretty cool. And then parallel to her on the other side, we have Ichigo, also by Grivet, in his new uh, Shikai form with his new Zangetsus, his dual wielding Zangetsus. So put that up there. They cut off the top of his head when I printed this, but I don't think that's a huge issue. You probably wouldn't have even noticed it until I just pointed it out, but whatever. All right, so then we have, um, here we have Ichi Bay's Releasing Ichi Monji. This is by a demon artist known as, uh, hold on, it cut it off here. Uh, it is I-N-E-C-D-V-E. -E. I have uh, permission to use all these, by the way, by the uh, artists. I emailed them earlier. So we have Ichi Monji there, pretty cool. And of course, next to him, we have to have the great Yuha Bach, His Majesty, the Kaiser of the Quincy uh, Empire, the Vonnenreich, the Almighty. That's a very long title, but hey, that's basically what he is. So there we go, because they had their epic battle, which pretty much closed out all of 2014. Uh, down here, we have two ones that uh, were the same from last year. We have Uryu in his new Vandenreich uniform and Renji. Uh, I felt you, Uryu had to be up here because uh, he's probably going to do something pretty cool this year. And Renji, just because, well, he's a main character and he may or may not do something really cool. Not really sure what's up with Renji right now. He was apparently fighting Basby, but that, that fight got interrupted. So I hope he does something cool for the remainder of this year at some point. Uh, next up, we, of course, have Nozarashi, which is something that kind of oblig ob obligatorily had to be on here. I mean, come on, people. It's it's freaking Nozarashi. So, uh, yeah, that was also by Grivet, so he did a pretty good job with that. I like the, uh, the the layout of the meteor falling behind him, even though we don't really know what he did to the meteor. I guess he just cut it a lot, I suppose. All right, so next we have Neliel. Uh, and many of you might be asking me, like, okay, why is Neliel on here? Like, she didn't, like, what the fuck? She didn't do anything all year or last year or anything. So why is she on here? Um, here's the thing with that. Neliel has always been one of my favorite Bleach characters. I don't know if you've known this, but I, I just sat back and thought, like, when I was thinking of new images for the wall, I'm just thinking, she's never been on here, like, once. Like, I've had three images of Rukia. I had freaking, had freaking Bambietta up here. I had, where is, yeah, right here, Hisana which is Rukia's sister, who has been dead throughout the entire series and has only been seen in flashbacks. Um, but I haven't had Neliel. That, that's an injustice to fucking Neliel to Aldershvank. I had to put her up there. Third of spot, so there we go. You also may notice, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the only image on here that's not like the uh, high gloss laminated like 8x10. This is like a traditional just printed out of my printer. Uh, that's because the original image that I planned on doing for this, uh, I got off DeviantArt as well as the other, uh, the other ones, and I sent the artist a message 
And she told me that she didn't want me to use it. She did not authorize me to use it. I even asked her like, hey, can I pay for you? Like, can I pay for the royalties for it so you'll let me use it? But she's like, no, I don't sell my art. I don't authorize people to use my art. So whatever, um, that's her choice. You know, I understand. So I'm not gonna go against her wishes. So this is just a, uh, this is actually designed from the Bleach box set volume 13, I think, like the DVDs, like the English release DVDs. When Nell first appeared in her adult form, they used that for the box cover. And I just threw up a different background behind her there. Uh, so, you know, whatever. I'm, no, I'm not going to give you that person's DeviantArt because then you're just going to post under DeviantArt. Like, why the hell wouldn't you let Tekken use your image? It's her choice. It's her decision. Okay? So, now we have uh, the other ones that are all the ones we had last year. There's no more new ones. I only printed out six new ones. So, we have uh, the traditional Tsukushima and his... Uh, this was by Zonpak Toe Leader. He, that's why he has, like, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but he has, like, a more elaborated full bring here. That's, like, if his... I'm assuming that's, like, he, his interpretation of if Ginjo enhanced... Tsukushima's full bring with Ichigo's powers, that's how it would look. So it's a pretty cool design there. He's using a book as a shoulder guard. And I'm, I'm hoping he shows up this year. I'm having a vibe that he will. So of course, he needs to die. I'm going to have fun making fun of Suki again. It's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, then we have, of course, uh, Misaki uh, laying the headshot onto that uh, you know white, the Shiro hollow that Aizen uh, created to attack her. And then, well, didn't design it to attack her, designed to attack Ishin, but it ended up attacking her. Uh, and then we have uh, Ichigo's full Vasto Lorde form by Jim's Nerd Nation. And then we just have a traditional one of Rukia as the new lieutenant of Squad 13, uh, which is an older one. And I know I have two Rukias up here, which I'm not complaining, but uh, I didn't have any other horizontal, I mean, vertical images to use. Everything else here was just uh, uh, horizontal. Let's see, we had, you know, Ichigo there, you old Yuha Bok image, Yamamoto, which Yamamoto always fell down on this thing. I had him right where Nozarashi is, and he always fell down, like, the most. Him and, uh, him and Uryu had problems. They always kept falling down near the end, but I hope, I hope I won't have that problem with Nozarashi. I kind of bolted them down more than I usually do with all, like, the thumbtacks, because I make sure they don't fall down, because that was annoying. Other things I added that are new are the images of the, uh, the, the Gote 13, the different flower emblems we have here. Uh, the Zero Squad is up here. I don't know if you can see that one here. Um, I didn't do it justice for some of these, because, like, like, for example, let's, like, look at Squad 3. Like, just comparing the Squad 3 one to the original, yeah, that's not even... Yeah, that's not even close. That looks like somebody just, like, shot the, uh, the sun with, like, a BB gun or something. Like, something out of Kirby's Adventure with the, uh, like, 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 the sun is, like, literally made of glass and it just got shattered. Uh, but no, that's supposed to be a marigold. I'll put that up later. But, uh, yeah, the other ones, um, I, I was gonna think about, like, carving them out with, like, an X-Acto knife, but that would have probably you know, been more difficult because some of these are like really intricate, like squad seven's really intricate. Uh, squad 10 is really intricate, but you know, I, I just, you know, drew on them with a Sharpie, kind of a chin chintzy way to do it, but it, it was effective and nonetheless. Um, yeah, and I moved the Quincy symbols up here, you know, the traditional Quincy symbol, Von and Reich symbol, Ichigo swords are still here. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's new set up for 2015. I hope this year will be good. Uh, I, I don't know if Bleach is going to end this year. I heard theories that it was going to. Uh, my personal opinion is it's either going to end at the very tail end of this year, beginning of next year, or like the middle of 2016 at the absolute latest, but I don't even see that happening. Uh, so if that's the case, if we get like a notice from Kubo or Shonen Jump that it's going to be ending, you know, like an actual date, I might redo this one more time. Like if we find out Ichigo what his new Bonkai looks like or, you know, something else that, that happens that's really cool with Yuha or Uryu or Hashwolf, I might put them up here. Um, but yeah, and I was thinking about putting the Soul King up here. Very few fan art of the Soul King. Surprisingly few amounts of really good quality resolution images I could use for the Soul King. Um, you think there'd be more, but whatever. Um, yeah, also another thing that's weird, uh, a full color image of the Soul Palace. I wasn't going to put that up here, but you'd think somewhere out on the internet there'd be a full color image of the, of the Soul Palace or, or of the Vondenreich Palace, but there's none. I'm just like, oh, no, no, I could find anyway. But, you know, this, this video's gone on long enough, just me rambling at this point. But anyway, hope you guys like the new setup. Let me know. Uh, links to the descriptions of all the fine artists below if you want to go and check their Deviant Arts out, uh, as well as the uh, original artists for these, uh, the ones that I used last year. So, yeah, uh, just uh, hope you guys have a great year. Techie 101, signing out. See ya.